Hi, North American social media editor Greg Huff here. We're back at the river in the winter. Gonna try for some more smallmouth. Got some local knowledge from a fellow who was up here last week who caught 37 in this stretch of river here. Uh, I was working a little bit further downstream the last couple days, but uh, went upstream today and uh, hopefully can uh, find a hot bite. It's pretty windy today. I'll try to get my bait right behind that current break. There should be some smallies hanging out there. Try not to fall in. Looking for is some slack water. Right by the edge of the current, a spot that a smallie can sit and not have to fight the current too much, but can wait to attack bait fish that comes floating down. Now I'm not going to do much once it gets down current. I'm going to get the bites as it, the current moves it down river, just as it would be moving real bait fish. Oh. <laughs> that was uh, not a fish nibbling on my lure, but that was an ice flow hitting my line. Almost landed an ice flow there. Would have been a trophy mount too. Can't find a lot of taxidermists that will do an ice flow. It's a tough job. Wow, I didn't even really set the hook on that one, it was just on. But I did learn something on that one because my bait has been floating down in this fast current and then all of a sudden it just sat there and it wasn't moving. So next time that happens, I'll know that I got a fish on because it's just sitting there holding on to it. But I heard there's big ones here, that was a big one. I'll try to recreate that and see if there's not some more out there. There we go. Also. Well, so far the scoreboard is uh, one small mouth and somebody's old underwear. Uh, girl's underwear. It's kind of lacy. Lovely. Lovely. There we go. There we go. Oh. Ten pound test. Son of a gun. That was a good one. I tied on a heavier jig head, football head, with the uh, tube craw. Heavier football head, hopefully in this fast water, will keep my bait on the bottom a little bit better. So far, every time I've been out here, the fish have been on the bottom. Definitely making way better contact with the bottom here. Hopefully this will be the deal. All right, there's the biggest one I caught this winter. I'm going to Murphy's Law and play. I was out, I was in between tapes and didn't realize it. I'd moved to another spot, hooked into two really nice smallmouths, got them in, about three and a half, four pounders. Look at that toad. So I got the camera going again, hopefully we can get in a couple more before the sun goes down. Really cold and it was really windy, but uh, those two four pounders got my blood going a little bit, so I'm going to try for a couple more. A couple nice fish, it makes it hurt standing out here in the cold, but I tell you, this is as cold as I've been. Three degrees today, but when you get those nice ones, boy, it is still fun. There's a bunch of junk down here in the water, brush and such. I've got done with this, but... Got him! Yeah, got him! Yeah, another nice one. Not as quite as nice as the ones I caught, of course, when the camera wasn't running. Look at that guy. They're still biting. Let's get some more of those. That was my first cast after turning on the camera, so that's that's what we like to see. I almost thought about packing it in, but those big ones that I got made me want to try a little bit longer. I'm catching those smallies. That warms me up real nice. Like I was saying, there's some junk down there. I really don't want to lose this. Shoot, I lost it. Got another football head tied on here. It's not quite as heavy, but uh, I might stay away from that junk. Lost another one on there earlier. The only thing I'm worried about on this is that I've got 10 pound line, 10 pound floral instead of 17 pound floral. There we go. There we got another one. It's a good looking fish. Another good looking fish here. Not in that four pound range anymore, but uh, gosh, these are fun to catch no matter what. Got a little tube here. The tech's closing this hook so I don't have too much hook out there catching on snags, but, but enough of that hook hanging out that I can get a, a good bite on there. This is encouraging. That's, I think, three casts, three fish. 
Maybe they're turning on. They say confidence is the best tool in your tackle box, and I definitely have confidence in this area. I've had experience here, and I know this is a good spot. And I never get 37, but I always get five or six. Seven or eight, right around there. Right there. This one feels like a little bit more quality. Yeah, that one's a little bit better. We're back in the big fish spot now. This might be the biggest one of the day. This is a very big fish. This is the biggest one of the day for sure. I wish I had some way to measure that. 